Hey friends, this is a day in the life vlog where I get a chance to tour McMaster University. For those that don't know, this is a renowned university in Canada, which is located in the heart of Hamilton, Ontario. It's especially known for its capabilities, labs, and expertise in nuclear science and engineering. It's also home to the largest operating nuclear research reactor in the country, which I got a chance to tour earlier in the day. However, after our conversation and podcast discussion, fourth year engineering physics student Luke takes me around campus to explore. So come join us on this tour. Here with Luke, all right, Luke is an uh, engineering physics student here and uh, he's going to show me around campus, McMaster University. Got a chance to tour the reactor, check that out, but now I'm going to get a chance to check out the campus. You want to introduce yourself, Luke? Yeah, hi, I'm Luke. I'm a six-year engineering physics student at McMaster. 30 months, I should say, of co-op experience in the nuclear industry and uh, we're just going to be taking Osama around, take you guys around, uh, show you some engineering buildings at Mac uh, and hang up some posters for an event. Okay, everybody, we're here at uh, the DeGroote School of Business Rainforest Room. And what this is here is really nice little serenity break if you want to, yeah, in between classes to come and smell the trees because it's all real plants in here. Nice kind of place to, to get away from things. And it's an awesome room here. We've got to be quiet, so we're not going to be talking when we go in. Uh, but uh, it's a really cool spot on campus. Come check it out. I was honestly mesmerized to see this hidden gem on campus. As soon as you walk into this room, you're hit with a sharp breeze, fresh air. I also naturally gravitated toward the benches surrounding this room. It's just the perfect place to get lost inside of a book. What's also great about an indoor room like this is that you can enjoy this experience in the winter months and the summer months as well, which in Canada sometimes are annoyingly long. So here at the Serenity Garden, it's incredible. Uh, it's a really peaceful energy here. Um, and I can't believe this is indoors. Uh, you know, you've got all these trees, you have this natural walk, sorry, this artificial waterfall. And um, just a really nice area where I would envision myself reading a book, right? And maybe chilling with some friends. You wanna share your thoughts here? Just love the smell in here. <laughs> nice yeah, it's fresh. Yeah. How do they maintain this, like, area? I don't know. Never seen anybody in here. Okay. Guess at night. Mm. In addition to large trees, there's also a waterfall. Yes, a waterfall in the corner of this room. The sounds of this waterfall are surprisingly therapeutic and smooth. And you've got to stay quiet so those that are in there can really focus on whatever they're reading or maybe just absorbing a bit of that nature. All right. So as a president of uh, McMaster NYGN, uh, we've put on some events here. Uh, the next one coming up is Nuclear Industry Talks, so our uh, outreach team lead has made these wonderful posters that we're going to be hanging around today. Um, and pretty much what this is, is we have six different employers coming out, each giving a 10 minute presentation about what they do, and then we have a networking session afterwards. So um, yeah, going to put these all around the engineering buildings, get as much eyes on them as possible so we can get people out. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, stick on some of these posters. Yeah. <laughs> the first spot on campus that really stood out to me was this math cafe. So while putting posters across campus, this cafe really caught my eye. It has such a unique look to it, and I really like the blue light and the overall fancy look of the cafe. So next, Luke finds a nice spot for his first poster. All right, first poster's up. Boom. Move this one over a little bit. All right, one down. Good nice, to go. Nice. You can go out this way. Awesome. Let's go get some more. Yeah, let's do it. So while we stroll around campus in the evening, I noticed the older looking building and architecture around the university. This just goes to show the history of campus as it was established around 135 years ago. Yes, in 1887. Yeah, this place is old and its beauty and charm is in the history of this place. I love the old rustic look of this university. It just goes to show how historic some of these buildings are. Okay, so we're gonna be heading into the capstone room. Quick pit stop on the way as we hang these posters around. So this is where uh, the engineering physics department gets to put together their final year project. Uh, you're building stuff pretty much across the spectrum, uh, applying to either optical communications, LEDs, lasers, photovoltaics, and for us we're doing a nuclear industry uh, application uh, for our capstone. But there's a bunch of projects all around the room 
and we have all these resources to use. All right, next around campus, we come across this stunning mosaic of the McMaster nuclear reactor on the walls. You can clearly see the containment building, the sky bridge and skyline of Hamilton, Ontario, and even some of the cooling towers that aren't even on campus, but simply add to the mosaic. And then right down here is the engineering student machine shop. You can just look in there and that's where uh, we're gonna be building the metal version of that uh, capstone that I showed earlier. So nice. yeah, we're gonna be fabricating our final project out of metal at 12 feet long and seven feet high. So we get to work in there. this event here guys this is where we're doing our whole networking portion of it so in two weeks this will be filled with employers and students kind of getting to know each other so got to hang up a couple in here for sure all right so this is probably one of the highlights here of the university this cool little engineering ring shouldn't touch it uh my hands might get stuck onto it <laughs> but this is uh, this is awesome I, I i love it you know put my you put your head through this right take a picture <laughs> Get the, uh, get the ring on here. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> in a couple months, in a couple months. In a couple months. Damn, all right. I like this, this is such a nice uh, addition. Yeah, you could, you could like hang off this thing. There's picture, like. <laughs> this guy's gonna break it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure like it's, re it's like resistant, right? It's, it's built by engineers. Of course yeah. it's resistant. Yeah, <laughs> Although I did a tour of the McMaster nuclear reactor earlier in the day, here's how it looks like at nighttime. Those are the mini cooling towers for the reactor and the large reactor building that you saw earlier in the mosaic. It's fascinating to take a look at this reactor at nighttime as it's nicely lit up. And as we end off the night by getting dinner together at the Phoenix, which is a local restaurant on university campus. Campus. All right, here with Luke at the Phoenix, all right, which is grabbing a quick bite here. It's a local McMaster, uh, McMaster restaurant, uh, which we're checking out. And um, uh, yeah, I guess we got this uh, ketogenic uh, burger. Okay, so uh, it looks pretty good. And I'll get pass it off to uh, Luke to tell us a little bit more about this uh, restaurant and uh, you know experiences here. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So I got the classic uh, fish and chips here, and uh, here at the Phoenix we have uh, awesome little area here, pretty old building. So it's nice to come here for uh, for mint class, hang out, some food, and then in this little area that we are in right now is actually where we do trivia night. Uh, as well for NYGN and it's 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 a great place to you know have an event and, and uh, have a have a bite to eat with your buddies. So these are all McMaster alumni, right? Yeah. So there's an event going on right now. It's a McMaster alumni. If you can tell the uh, the age of the people here, but uh, yeah, it's a, it is a, it brings the people together. Coincidentally, tonight was a special night on campus since there was an alumni meetup taking place. It was a full house at the Phoenix, and this is a testament to how active the alumni community is here. Well, there you have it. That's a quick tour of McMaster University. It was a pleasure meeting Luke, who is an incredible university student here and who's going to be joining the nuclear energy industry very soon. So in the comments below, feel free to ask some questions that you may have. Or if you're interested in studying engineering physics or nuclear science, this is a great place to ask those questions and hope you enjoyed this video. Till then, take care. Bye.